let's practice seeing how well we understand how to compute or conceptually picture what a moment of inertia is. Let's suppose we have several objects, all of which have the same mass, capital M, but they have different shapes. We'll imagine a point mass, just something that's absolutely as tiny as a speck, a square hoop, a thin disk, and a washer. The hoop and the washer have their mass uniformly distributed around the perimeter of these objects, and the thin disk has its mass distributed throughout the disk. And we can ask which of the, these objects has the smallest moment of in inertia around its center, and which of these objects have the largest moment of inertia around its center. We'll imagine that the square, the disk, and the washer uh, all have a dimension L shown in the pictures. So the question is, which one's the smallest? The smallest moment of inertia will definitely be the point mass. If you try to rotate it around its center and it basically has no radius whatsoever, then its moment of inertia is basically zero. So that's going to be the smallest moment of inertia. The next will be the flat disk. Although it's equal in size to the washer, its mass is spread throughout the disk. And so if we think of dividing up that disk into lots of little chunks of mass, some of them are at smaller radii from the center of the disk than this total distance this curly L. So the washer, every piece of mass, if we divide it up, is at a distance L from the center of rotation, whereas the disk, some objects, some chunks of mass, are at smaller distances than L. And since moment of inertia is mR squared, that R will be smaller for, for lots of the disk compared to the washer. The next moment of inertia in size, the next one up, will be the washer itself. Since all uh, elements of mass are at a distance L from the center of rotation, uh, it's going to be bigger than the disk, but it won't be as big as the square because the square will have some elements of its mass at a distance further than L. If you think about up here in the corner, that distance L, it's going to be, this corner is going to be further than a distance L away. So some of its mass has an MR squared that's even bigger than the washer is. So the wash, the, the washer is somewhat in the middle. Uh, the largest moment of inertia is the hoop, answer B. The next is the washer, answer D. Next down is the disk, answer C, and the next down, the smallest of all of them, is answer A.